Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am getting ready to fish a golf course pond. Made a trip up here to uh, Grand Lake, Oklahoma. I'm gonna do some fishing over the next couple weeks. I ran back into the pond behind the house and caught this 3.88 pounder. All right, I'm heading over to this other pond. Uh, good fishing and I'm tired of catching those dinks, but it was fun for a little bit. Good to learn the pond. About four or five feet deep, like I mentioned. Uh, this one has a little bit more depth to it. Des definitely has way more grass for him to live in, which is which is good, but it's also bad for fishing. So um, I'm gonna present a different swim bait, dig up, see what I got, and see if I can catch a decent one. Got a new swim bait on. It looks like a tadpole. up here and be a little bit more stealthy this time because uh, these fish are smart there's another pond I'm gonna go around this pond for a little bit see what I can bring out but then I'm gonna go to another pond that's pretty small it has a fountain but I've never fished it before I kind of want to see what's in it pulled off oh, he felt decent he felt decent after all those dinks I'll probably just go up to the spot Jesus There we go. There we go. Oh my God, barely on the corner. It was set pretty good though. Man, he fought more like a 10 pounder versus a one pounder. He got one guys, he got one. There's a lot of activity in this grass right here. Okay. Got to move. I think I'm over pressuring this pond, so let's head to the next pond. I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Okay, new pond, a lot smaller. I'm going to start with the wacky rig and get a feel for what's in here. There's a fish that I missed. There it was again. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Little tiny guy. Little tiny guy for a little pond.
Holy moly. It's like a hybrid bluegill. No, it's a sunfish. It's a big sunfish. Those little guys are pecking at it, huh? It's a beautiful fish. Another big old sunfish. This is bigger than the last one. Or the exact same one, I don't know. Guys, that is like, seriously, warmouth maybe, or a, it looks like a hybrid bass and sunfish. That is insane. This thing is huge. This might be my PB right here. PB sunfish. It's not quite a pound. Probably like 12 ounces. God, these things are huge. go finally a bass all right guys got a feel for these ponds and I'm happy about that there's one I didn't get a feel for and I might try still um, but I need to get some food. It's day three on my lunch break. Gonna make a couple casts. There's a nice one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. There's a nice one. Look at that, guys. 
That's definitely not the one from the other day, but it is nice. Two point six six. Pretty nice one. Alright, let's get this guy back in the water. Alright guys, stayed out here way too long, gotta get back. bad one that's not a bad first fish right there oh that was ugly oh that was ugly oh his mouth is rough 220 fish guys oh my god he's pissed what a great first fish on the lake What I'm doing is slowly dragging this across the rocks, getting reaction bites. It's... I think the small ones are hitting it too, though. It's all in this feel right here. It's... I can just kind of feel it dragging through the rocks. Almost feels like bites, but there's a bite. I think that's a little one pecking at it. Little pecker head. Little pecker head. Feels nice. It feels cool. What was that? There we go. There we go. Look at that, he choked it. One six nine. Not a good fish, guys.
this again. There we go. He came off. He came off. Dang it. Dang it. Day four. No fishing today. The weather, it has been raining all day. Hey guys, I've decided to restring two of my rods because I was lazy and didn't do it before the trip. Um, I thought the string was still good on it, but it definitely wasn't. It was sitting all winter, so it wasn't. It, it gets very bound up, as you can see. It's like a slinky. And when that happens, it creates a lot of backlash, which I've been dealing with all week. So I'm going to get that swapped out. The weather has really turned on me. Uh, it's dropped quite a bit. It's like 40 degrees out right now. Had really nice weather last week and now I think this whole week's gonna be pretty darn cold. So that's kind of unfortunate. Um, I'm going to try to fish the warmer parts of the day and hopefully find the fish. Because of this cold front, I have a feeling they're going to move back out and they're not going to be in the backs of creeks like I wanted them to. Uh, that's where I wanted to find them on this trip. So this might prolong the spawn quite a bit. But Mother Nature, what can you do? I still have a couple golf course ponds I haven't tried yet. I want to try those. I might try those today when it gets up to about 50 degrees. I'm lucky. Monday, it's supposed to be in the 70s, so I'll probably put the boat back on, on the water on Monday. Just wanted to give you guys an update here and let you know what was going on. Uh, so far, I've been catching the fish pretty well. Let's see if I can keep doing it. I think it's going to get a lot harder, so let's see what happens. <laughs>